So, Jorge, what day is it today? Today is National Chocolate Milk Day. I drink almond chocolate milk every morning. Yay, this is my day. It doesn't I... say chocolate almond milk. Well, it's chocolate <laughs> milk is the same. It's No, it's chocolate almond it? milk. I Yes, is it's it? my day. Is it? We got to talk about our guest. It's Douglas Cameron. <laughs> He's a, a composer. He's songwriter, singer, a multi-instrumentalist. He's been creating music for over 40 years. Mona with the children. Juno nominated in 1985. Solo songs. Riverdale. The Door You Came In. And then he just <gasps> released a new one, Garnock Avenue. He's part of also Whiskey Jack. As a composer for, for TV, yes. his credits include Doc, Designer yes. Guys, Homes on Homes, Ants in Your Pants. Ladies and gentlemen, and this is Douglas Cameron. Oh, oh almost. Oh, you were so close. It. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is too much for me. It's good so morning. good to see you. You've been doing music over 40 years. Do you remember the spark when you were young that got you headed in this direction? Yes, I actually do. My first memory, three or four years old, is of listening to a record of Patty Page saying, How much is that doggy in the window? How much is that doggy in the window? <laughs> And I just kept playing it over and over, like you had to actually lift the little arm over onto the 45. When I was four, my mother took me for piano lessons. I remember playing the piano one day, and I thought to myself, this is fun. I can do this. From that moment, I never had a day in my life without music. This first one, it's from 1985. You were nominated for Juno. Send your love to me. Send your love. Okay, can we talk about your outfit? <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Did you decide on that or did somebody force you? <laughs> they hired a person. I'm going to take you out and buy you some clothes. She said, they want you to wear a hat. I said, I don't wear a hat. Why would I wear a hat? And it was because, as you can see, and I was so upset. And there was this huge basket of hats. I stuck my hand in the basket and I pulled out the first hat, the red beret. And I said, there's the hat. Thereafter, in all of the interviews that I did, the first thing they asked about was the hat. Are you? Oh, so I think you wear a hat in this one too. <laughs> I know a dance with a brand new beat. Guaranteed to get you up off your feet, do the wiggle. As you can see, the most important thing in showbiz is the hat. <laughs> By the middle 90s, I ended up writing a bunch of songs for a new TV show called Ants in Your Pants. I had to write 20 songs, 52 episodes, and I was in 50 of them. It was on four times a day, seven days a week. I became famous, but I became famous if you were under five years old and living outside of Toronto. We're big Beatles fans here, so we're going to play a little bit of Blackbird. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. It was COVID and we were living up north. I started to just record songs. And Blackbird was a song that I learned as a teenager. Everybody learns to play Blackbird on the guitar. What's coming up for you, Douglas? These days, I'm playing in a band called Whiskey Jack. We just did a new album and it's also on Spotify and Apple Music. You fell asleep under the Starlit sea, it's time to wake up. So people can find you on Spotify, Apple Music, yep. Facebook, and you have a huge YouTube channel. Great videos. Thank you for taking Douglas time Cameron, to be with so us much. today. Thank you. My pleasure. He's a great storyteller. Check out his music, folks, because you'll love it. It's so much fun. Hey, folks, don't forget to like, comment, share, we'll subscribe, follow, do it all.